Warren Buffett has been a legend in the world of finance and investing for a long time, but you might be surprised to learn that he wasn't born with a silver spoon. While his parents weren't poor, they were certainly not rich or part of any elite social circle. So how did a young boy from Nebraska go on to become the envy of Wall Street and the inspiration of everyday investors all around the world? I was lucky in that I sort of found early on what turned me on that way. But, but don't settle for a, something if you can possibly, but don't worry about making the most money this week or next month. I mean, when I went to right. offered to work for Ben Graham, I said, I'll work for nothing. And I met it, you know, I mean, I, just the idea of being turned on. So look for, look, look for the job that turned you on. The answer is because he built his fortune from scratch and proved that his methods work in the long term, even for non-sophisticated investors. In 2024, Buffett said, I made my first investment at age 11. I was wasting my life up until then. This might have made you chuckle. It sounds ridiculous to most people. But then again, most people are not Warren Buffett. If you're in your 20s and you want to get rich, there's just one thing you need to do. And this is going to be the deciding factor between being broke versus living a life where you never have to worry about money. Let's start by talking about how important it is to start early and focus on learning as much as possible. Warren Buffett, undeniably one of the greatest investors of all time, lives by this rule. He's famously quoted for saying, the more you learn, the more you earn. The reason it caught on isn't just because it's catchy, which it certainly is, but because it's just so damn true. It's a fundamental truth in the world of both finance and business. If you think about it, that's the whole premise of our education system. You go to school and college to learn skills that you can use at a job and get paid. Of course, there is more to learning than just the financial reward, but money certainly plays a huge role. Buffett's career began at an unusually young age. He bought his first stock at just 11 years old and even filled his first tax return at 13. He was a clever kid and figured out that he could claim his bicycle as a work expense since he was riding around town delivering newspapers on his bicycle. Learning the value of money and understanding the tax system at such an early age stacked the odds in his favor. Fast forward to 2024, even though the landscape of learning and investing has evolved since the 1940s, the principle remains the same. In the digital age, online courses, podcasts, and YouTube videos such as this one provide a wealth of knowledge, often for free or at a very low cost. The internet makes it possible for everyday people with very little money to learn from world-renowned experts in almost every field, all from the comfort of their own home. A recent survey showed that over 60% of successful investors in 2024 attribute their success to continuous learning and staying updated with market trends. But why is starting early so important? Two words, compound interest. Compound interest is so insanely powerful that Albert Einstein is famously quoted for saying that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Because the earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. For example, if you start investing just $100 a month at the age of 20, assuming an average annual return of 7%, you could have over $200,000 by the time you're 60. If you delay this by just 10 years and start investing when you're 30, you'll have only about half as much, about $100,000 by the time you're 60. Buffett stresses the importance of learning from mistakes, but not just your own. He stresses how important it is to learn from the mistakes of others. He says, it's good to learn from your mistakes, but it's better to learn from other people's mistakes. After all, if you learn from other people's mistakes too, you can avoid a lot of common mistakes before making them yourself. In 2024, the financial world is more complicated than ever. New investment opportunities are popping up out of nowhere every day. Remember NFTs? Those were the hot new exciting investment just a couple years ago and now the hype is all gone. Even traditional markets are constantly evolving, so if you want to stay up to date with the market, you need to commit to being a lifelong learner. Now let's talk about the next step to building wealth from scratch in 2024. Practicing frugality and living below your means, a principle even a billionaire like Warren Buffett still practices to this day. Over the years, Buffett has caught a lot of media attention for being so extremely frugal relative to his wealth. Did you know that despite being worth almost $130 billion, Buffett still drives a $47,000 Cadillac XTS? Far from a Rolls Royce or Bentley, which is what you would expect a sophisticated billionaire like him to drive, or rather, be chauffeured in. He famously said, if you buy things you do not need, soon you will have to sell things you need. 
Even though Buffett has no need to be frugal, he still lives by the principles that led him to become so wealthy in the first place. And no, I'm not saying that he became a billionaire by buying a cheaper car or using coupons at the grocery store. If you're familiar with his investing style, Warren Buffett is famous for investing in funds that are extremely cost-effective with low fees. Buying valuable companies at a discount and holding onto them for a long time is what made Buffett so wealthy. In an era where consumerism is strong and social media often drives our spending habits, living frugally is a powerful tool for financial growth. Mind you, frugality is not the same as being cheap. You don't need to give up all comforts and luxuries. You just need to focus on getting a lot of value for every dollar you spend, so you don't waste money on things that don't truly matter to you. Frugality is realizing that you would rather spend $400 on farm fresh groceries instead of blowing it on a Gucci belt. Another great place to practice frugality is with cars. Cars are known to be a heavily depreciating asset, so it wouldn't be wise to buy a brand new car for most Americans. By choosing a reliable used car over a brand new one, you can save thousands of dollars right off the bat. Housing is one of the largest expenses for most Americans, which makes it a great place to apply our principles of frugality. I see too many people spending ridiculous amounts of money to buy a house that is way too big for their needs. But when it comes to housing, bigger is not always better. If you have a small family, buying a large house means spending more money on furniture, heating and cooling, property taxes, and all the maintenance that a big house demands on top of a larger mortgage payment. So you really need to ask yourself why you want a big house. Do you really need the space or are you trying to impress others? Did you know that Buffett still lives in the same, relatively modest house he bought in 1958 for $31,500? Frugality also extends to everyday expenses. Spending a lot of money on things like eating out can really hurt your finances. I would recommend cooking at home as much as possible, not only to save money, but to also save your health. But if you really hate all the preparation required to cook at home, you can consider signing up to a meal kit delivery service such as HelloFresh. They will send you all the raw ingredients you need in exactly the right proportions to make delicious, healthy meals yourself at home. That's what I used to do when I was in university, and it saved me a lot of time without breaking the bank. Now let's talk about the basic concepts of earning and saving money, something Buffett learned very early in life. Buffett's philosophy, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving, highlights the importance of prioritizing savings over expenses. It also makes it much easier to break out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle. In the age of the internet and gig platforms such as Uber and TaskRabbit, there are more ways than ever before to earn some extra money. Even if you have a busy nine to five, chances are you can find some side hustle or a side business that can make you an extra few thousand dollars per month. For example, I accidentally discovered a really unique side hustle that has already generated thousands of dollars for me. It only requires 5 to 10 hours per week and is completely beginner friendly. If that sounds interesting, click the link in the description for a completely free beginner's guide. I think you'll find it really useful. Now once you have a source of income, the next step is to create and follow a simple savings plan and this is where Buffett's famous quote comes into the picture. Instead of spending money recklessly throughout the month and struggling to put any money away at all, flip this idea on its head. Every time you get paid, Take a certain amount of money out of your account and transfer it directly to your savings account. Make a budget and figure out your bare minimum monthly expenses such as rent and food. Then, you can create a plan to save a portion of whatever is left. This can be a fixed amount or a percentage of your income. You can even automate this with your bank, so your money is automatically deposited into a savings account for you each time you get paid. This out-of-sight, out-of-mind method can significantly boost your savings without you even having to think about it. But saving alone can only get you so far. After all, Warren Buffett has another really famous quote, if you're not making money in your sleep, you will work until you die. So you need to figure out a way to grow your money passively. Once you have a decent chunk of change saved, look into low risk investment options. These could include high yield savings accounts, certificates of deposit, or even starting with small investments in the stock market. The power of compound interest plays a significant role here. As Buffett says, my wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes, and compound interest. In a way, the real learning begins after you graduate from school, 
and school should really have been a stepping stone to get you prepared for it. Successful people are lifelong learners. They are curious and genuinely enjoy learning new things and expanding their skill set. And when you maintain this mindset for a long period of time, everything you learn starts to compound on each other. This is how people go on to start multi-billion dollar companies in an industry that is very different from what they studied in college. They didn't stop learning after they graduated. Now, some of you might be wondering how skills actually relate to the business that you want to build. You see, a business, when you filter out all the noise, is essentially just an exchange of value. Businesses offer products or services in exchange for money or other forms of payment. And these products and services are valuable because of the skills they require to provide. For example, I wouldn't be able to just start an app company without knowing how to code. Without coding skills, I wouldn't understand the work the software engineers I hire do, making it really hard for me to check their work. To be successful, I could either learn coding myself or partner with someone trustworthy. Most of you are starting your first business and need specific skills to succeed. My current skills let me run certain businesses, but there's still a lot I can't do. As I learn more, I can create more diverse businesses. Skills are not just for starting a business, but also for expanding existing ones. Now let's look at the fourth important step in building wealth starting from scratch in 2024. Let's talk about smart investing, an area where Warren Buffett has truly made a name for himself. When the whole world was jumping in and out of various crypto coins and NFTs, Warren Buffett stuck to his famous investing principle, never invest in a business you cannot understand. This is what separates successful investors from the rest. The goal is to make your money work for you so you can turn your savings into your own personal employees. Each dollar is responsible for going out into the world and bringing you back more dollars. The first step in smart investing is education. You need to understand the basics of the stock market, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, and newer investment options like cryptocurrencies. Online resources, books, and financial courses can also provide a solid foundation. For example, I have several book summaries on this channel, including a book summary of The Intelligent Investor. I highly recommend you check these videos out if you want to speed up your learning. Knowledge is power, especially in the world of investing. The great thing about investing in 2024 is that you don't need much to get started. So start small. Get your feet wet with just a hundred bucks once you understand the basics. There are online platforms that allow you to invest as little as $20 so you really need to come up with a better excuse if you haven't started investing yet. Buffett's first investments were modest, but they laid the groundwork for his future successes. Diversification is also a really important part of smart investing. You may have heard the expression, don't put all your eggs in one basket in a different context, but especially when it comes to investing, diversification is key. So make sure you spread your investments across different asset classes and industries. This will reduce your risk in the market and put you in a much better position if any individual companies or sectors underperform. For example, while the stock market goes down, your bonds or real estate investments might go up to balance everything out overall. To balance your portfolio, consider long-term investments over short-term gains. Buffett's strategy has always been about long-term growth. He invests in companies with solid fundamentals, good management, and the potential for sustained growth. In 2024, look for investments that offer long-term value rather than getting caught up in short-term market trends or speculative ventures. Risk management is also important. Understand your risk tolerance and invest accordingly. Younger investors might be more inclined to take risks given the longer time horizon for their investments to grow. However, as you get older, your investment strategy should gradually become more conservative. Reinvesting dividends is a powerful tool for wealth accumulation. Instead of cashing out your dividends, reinvest them. With this method, you use the power of compound interest to make your investments grow very quickly over time. Another part of smart investing in 2024 is keeping up with the changes in the global economy and in technology. The world is rapidly changing, and so are investment opportunities. For example, sustainable and green investments are gaining traction, offering not just financial returns, but also contributing to a better environment. Tax-efficient investing is also important. Understand the tax implications of your investments and look for tax-efficient options like Roth IRAs or 401ks. 
These accounts offer tax benefits that can significantly enhance your investment growth over time. To sum up, smart investing in 2024 requires a blend of education, diversification, long-term planning, risk management, and staying informed about global trends. By following these principles, you can turn your savings into a growing asset, just like Warren Buffett did. The fifth step is about reinvesting your profits, a strategy that sets Warren Buffett apart from most investors. Reinvesting profits means using the returns from your investments to make more investments rather than spending them. This approach is really important for accelerating the growth of your money over time. For example, if you invest $1,000 and earn a 10% return, you will have $1,100. If you reinvest that $100, you're now earning returns on $1,100, not just your initial $1,000. Over time, this compounding effect can lead to significant growth in your investments. In 2024, with various investment options available, reinvesting profits can take many forms. It could be as simple as reinvesting dividends from stocks or interest from bonds, or it could involve using profits from one investment to fund another, diversifying your portfolio and spreading risk. One practical way to reinvest profits is through a DRIP, or a dividend reinvestment plan. Many companies offer these plans, which automatically reinvest your dividends into more shares of the stock, often without any transaction fees. This is a hassle-free way to compound your investment growth. Another aspect of reinvesting profits is to continually educate yourself and stay updated with market trends. As you gain more experience and knowledge, you can make more informed decisions about where to reinvest your profits for maximum growth. It's also important to be patient and disciplined. Compound growth takes time, and the real power of this strategy is seen in the long term. Avoid the temptation to cash out your profits too soon. By understanding and utilizing the power of compound interest and being patient and disciplined with your investment approach, you can significantly accelerate your journey to financial success. If you aren't happy with your current income, the best thing you can do is learn a skill that you can apply to make extra money on the side. I recently discovered a really unique side hustle that 99% of the population has never even heard of. Click the link in the description to learn more.